you're about to discover some of Tarkov's best kept secrets hidden in plain sight. I've put together a list of tips to help you win more fights, move faster, and learn a few stash tricks. So sit back and relax guys. My name is Lice and let's get straight to it. To begin with, I've got a keybind trick. With this, you will be able to hold your breath whenever you ADS. Now you head into settings and find your key bindings. You scroll down until you find aim. Make sure it's set to right click and press. Then you find hold breath, which you set to release before binding it to right click as well. When you ADS now, you'll instantly hold your breath. Just make sure to click rather than hold your right mouse button. I also have my ALT key set to hold breath. So if I want to scope in for a long time without holding my breath the whole time, I'll just hit ALT after scoping in and then hit ALT again if I need to steady my aim. Next is something a lot of people are unaware of. I've played several hundred hours myself before I started using it properly. But you are able to adjust your stance in game. If you hold control and scroll at the same time, you can choose how much you want to crouch, which can allow for some lethal angles through spaces you wouldn't otherwise be able to peek through. The same is true for leaning. By holding Alt plus A or D, you can achieve a smooth lean and find that perfect angle. There are many situations where this is useful. For example, it's much easier to get an angle on an AI without them noticing you while using the smooth lean. You've probably heard of the combat reload, which involves pressing R twice to drop your magazine on the ground for a slightly faster reload. However, because R is bound for a combat reload on double press, when you do a normal reload, the game will always wait 0.3 seconds before initiating. To avoid this, you go into keybinds and you either change or unbind the combat reload key. I personally never use it, but that may not be the smartest option. This will make reloading instant as soon as you hit the R key, rather than having to wait that 0.3 three seconds every time. It's a small difference, but it can easily be the difference between life and death. And as a bonus, you won't be dropping your magazines everywhere. Oh, and did you know that when streamers do this, they are looking for the black tip on the ammo, which indicates that the bullets are armor penetrating and usually worth picking up. Now, it is vital to be able to move quickly when gathering information before engaging in combat. There are many situations where it is useful to run across and sneak a peek such as through a doorway or down a hall. When performing these moves, it is important that you can move as quickly as possible. By pressing C twice, you will drop your backpack on the ground, allowing you to move more quickly. In addition, building momentum is an important factor in Tarkov's movement. It takes a few seconds to reach full sprinting speed in Tarkov due to inertia. As a result, it can be advantageous to build up some speed before crossing somewhere to get a better look or before entering a fight. Furthermore, you can use sprinting to trick your opponents into pushing you. They may believe you are in the middle of a sprint or moving somewhere, but you can be ready in a position as soon as they enter. Now this is just a small quality of life hack to make things a little easier for you. Because the tap key is your best friend guys, both in and out of game. You know those annoying tasks where you have to place a couple of items in the same spot and after placing one, you are shuffling around looking for a spot where you can get to place another? Those days are over, because after placing an item, hit tap twice and you will be able to place the next one again immediately. And that's only the tip of the iceberg here. Because once we get into the stash, tap becomes extremely useful. For starters, if you are on your way into a raid and you need to check if you forgot anything, you can hit tap to back out to your stash. And then once you are ready, you can hit tap again and you will return to the screen you came from. You can also use it if you are trying to build a weapon preset and it won't let you because there is not enough room. Hit tap, move the weapon, hit tap again, and you're back to your build. Another use for it is to quickly refresh the flea market. You simply hit tap twice while you're on flea, bypassing the normal cooldown on refreshing the flea market. If you know any other spicy uses of the tap key, please share them in the comments. Following that, we have cancelling animations. You can cancel any action by right-clicking your mouse. Obviously, this is useful if you're healing or you're eating and you hear someone approaching. However, there are a few other applications for it. For example, you can use the sound of a surgery or a heal to trick someone into pushing you, then pop out from an angle. You can also save time by cancelling the use of heals, most notably the Grizzly due to its long use time. Once you've gained the health, you cancel the heal, simple as that. This will not work if you need to use it for a bleed or a fracture, however. If you need to check which magazines are full, such as after picking up a vest from someone you kill, you can move the magazines around. If they are full, it will become visible, showing the 30-30 as soon as you do. Another minor point about magazines is that when I'm repacking in-game, if I have a couple of magazines to repack, I'll check the weight to see which one has the most ammo left, so I know which to fill up first. In this case, more weight equals more ammo. Now there's no real need to have check time set in my opinion, and I didn't like pressing O twice to see my extracts. Instead I unbound check time, and I set check time and extracts to O on single press. 
When you ADS, the ergonomics of your gun do not always factor in. It takes a bit of practice, but if you ADS right out of a sprint, it will ignore the ergo on your gun and be almost instant. It takes a bit of getting used to, and it's very situational, but it can definitely come in handy. Now this is a small thing, but I found it to be very useful while playing on the map Interchange. On this map there are a bunch of railings outside that you have to cross, and normally they would drain your stamina because you have to jump over them. What you can do instead is do sort of a wiggle when you get close to them. Some people also look up into the sky, but I don't find that necessary, and this will pretty much let you face through the railings, saving your stamina, so you can hopefully get inside them all alive. The only issue you have now is that there is so much more to learn in Tarkov, some of which I cover in this video right here. Thank you for watching guys.